<laughs> much like he said. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to vlog number 24 of the National Music Academy. So excited today to introduce you to our DJ department. We've got Matt Miller and Amos Wellings to take you through the whole world of DJing here at the National Music Academy. Wellings. I've been DJing for about 11 years and I'm also a songwriter and producer. I've been involved with music from a pretty young age, did music all through school and did a Bachelor of Music at the Con in town. I started writing my own music around 2010, 2011, uh, but began to take it a bit more seriously when I moved to London in 2014. Then worked on some collabs with people and produced some of my own music as well. And now I have a solo project called Sky Paint, which is sort of electronic and synth pop. It's pretty fun. The students I teach all have different objectives, but there's always something for everyone to learn. Some of them I'm pretty content uh, aiming on playing house parties and weddings and functions, and there's definitely a lot of work in that. Um, some of my other students are a bit more keen to play gigs at the clubs and licensed venues. And that's really cool as well. Hey, I'm Matt Miller. I'm a DJ and producer. I've been DJing for around 14 years and producing for around seven, and I specialize in house music. As a producer, I've released on Armada Music. I've been traveling around Australia as well as overseas for probably the last four years, doing gigs and uh, pursuing, I guess, music. As a DJ, I, I still really enjoy uh, collecting vinyl as it's the format that I learned to play on, um, but really love all the new technology that's available. Um, and the same for in the studio. Love outboard and hardware synths, as well as all the really cool stuff that you can do with uh, an audio work, work program. Lessons with me will go through anything from electronic music history through to um, almost mentoring students with where to go from not just the DJing techniques, but in how to approach clubs or promoters about getting gigs, uh, how to build uh, an artist branding um, and, and work on that, that side of things as well. But in our lessons, they're very practical. Um, I still do a theory component, but it's more as a baseline to ground my students with knowledge so that they can work from, from that up uh, and get them into uh, good habits rather than bad habits. Uh, here we have a pretty standard type of DJ setup. It's controlled by the record box software. We have our two players, CDJs or multiplayers. And in the middle we have our mixer. This is a four channel mixer. It means that we have four different individual levels coming in. We have our jog wheels that we can use to scratch and speed up and slow down the music. We have all of our effects on board between here and across here. Pioneer stuff, as you might know, is the industry standard. A lot of the students that I have do have their own little controllers, sometimes Pioneer, sometimes Tractor Brand. I do encourage my students to bring those in because if that's what they're playing at home, that's what I can still help them learn. But we do also like to encourage the students to use this sort of gear so they, they can actually, I suppose, progress from being more of a bedroom DJ to using the equipment that they might find in a licensed venue or something like that. And this is the, definitely the kind of setup that will help a student do that easy transition from controller to separate decks. Awesome guys, um, I hope you really enjoyed uh, meeting Amos and Matt. Um, if you have any questions about gear or you just want to get an introduction to the electronic music world, please feel free to get in touch with us. The details are below and yeah, we can't wait to meet you.